Over 60% of global fraud starts on mobile devices, making your phone the most vulnerable device you own. Let's fix that. The first step is understanding how hackers get into your phone in the first place. The truth is, most of the time, they don't force their way in, you accidentally let them in. Maybe you downloaded a free app that wasn't what it seemed. Some malicious apps sneak past even official app store checks, but downloading apps that aren't on the Play Store or App Store is also a major risk. Or maybe you clicked a link in a text message, thinking it was from your bank or a delivery service, but it was a phishing scam and you gave away important information or downloaded malware to your phone. Public Wi-Fi is another trap. That free airport Wi-Fi could be a fake network set up by hackers to steal your login info and gain access to your device. Finally, skipping software updates can put you at risk. These often patch security holes and delaying them leaves you wide open to known exploits. So how do you know if your phone's already been hacked? Here are some warning signs. Your battery drains unusually fast. Your phone runs slow, apps crash, or start behaving strangely. You might notice strange logins to your accounts or get alerts about password changes you didn't make. You might see unfamiliar calls or texts in your history or a huge spike in your data usage. Sometimes new apps appear that you never downloaded, or maybe you're bombarded with pop-ups and ads. If you've seen even one of those red flags, your phone might be compromised. But don't panic. Here's how to take back control. Start by scrolling through your apps and deleting anything that you don't recognize or seem suspicious. You can also check your app permissions in the security settings of your phone to make sure nothing seems off there. Then change all of your passwords and make sure each one is strong and unique. Clear out your browser cache and cookies, especially if you've been noticing weird pop-ups or redirects. Next, run a full antivirus scan on your phone to catch anything hiding under the surface. You should also disconnect from the internet temporarily. Turning off your mobile data and Wi-Fi can cut off the hacker's access while you clean things up. Make sure your operating system and apps are fully updated. Those updates include important security fixes. If your phone is jailbroken, consider reversing it to restore critical protections. And if nothing else is working, back up your photos and contacts, then perform a full factory reset to wipe the device clean. Now that your phone is clean, let's keep it that way. Start by locking down your device with a fingerprint, facial recognition, a strong PIN, or a complex password. Make sure two-factor authentication is turned on for all your important accounts. Only install apps from trusted sources like the App Store or Google Play, and avoid anything that looks shady or too good to be true. Never jailbreak your phone, no matter how tempting the customization options might be, it's just not worth the risk. When you're using public Wi-Fi, protect your connection with a VPN to keep hackers from spying on your traffic. Keep your system and apps updated at all times, Enable auto-updates so you don't fall behind. Back up your data regularly so you won't lose anything if your phone is ever compromised. And finally, install a reputable mobile antivirus. Look for one that offers real-time protection, phishing defense, and privacy tools to keep you covered on all fronts. We've listed our recommendations in the description, including exclusive discounts when you use our links. Your phone holds your texts, photos, passwords, even your bank info. So don't wait until something goes wrong. Like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe for more digital safety tips. And share this with someone who needs to secure their phone right now.